Over the next couple of days, we are staying on this tropical island in the Philippines near El Nido. We're actually staying in these incredible beach huts behind me and they look amazing. I'll give you a tour later, but first let's go for a dip in the sea because it is so warm at the moment. So there is actually a shipwreck just off the shore, which is supposed to be an amazing snorkeling spot and apparently there's loads of fish and maybe turtles. And there's also pigs on this island. Hello. Yeah, let's go to the beach. And if you're interested in staying here, this is called the Isla Island Experience. It's found on booking.com. It's like the first line in the description. So go check it out. It's a beautiful island. So we're going to go for a swim in the sea to find the shipwreck. Because I think you can just about see it out over there. There's a little bit of like island and stuff sticking out. And um, I will supply the drone so you can see it from above too. Yeah. The water here looks amazing. So clear. It does. I mean, this whole beach which we're along now is just for like the island island experience. So like, if you're not actually here, then it's like private land, so you can't come. So this is our own beach. Get in. So we just went for an amazing snorkel around this area. And it's full of coral, like corals growing all over it. And there's loads of fish like Nemo's and all that stuff and rainbow fish. And it's so cool. Technical terms, rainbow fish and Nemo's. Yeah, that's, that's all I know. I'm not a big fish expert, but yeah. Do you know them? Clownfish. Oh, right. Oh, wow. You know the knowledge. Well done. Not Nemo. Nemo is a clownfish. Oh, right. Cool. This coconut just fell from the coconut tree. <laughs> That's actually crazy. I've never seen one felt fall before. No, but it was like a loud thud. I'm surprised you didn't hear it. I was like, <laughs> really? But this little guy is actually not that little, but. Should we try and open this? Yeah. Let's actually do that. There's some. There's. I think there's some stuff in there, probably. There's definitely coconut water in there. Yeah. <gasps> So let's try and open this coconut. I'm not sure, we're probably gonna get a rock or something. Oh, it feels so warm, it must have been in the sun. So if I go over there to like the lunch area, and um, then obviously they've probably got a machete and it's very easy to open, but I wanna try and do it myself because we're on an island, a tropical island. So, you know, I'll do a bit of bare grillsing and try and open it ourselves. All right, I'm gonna ask if I can use the machete to open this. So I've got this massive machete. Let's give it a go. What do they do? They come. Oh, Feels a bit. I feel like you're not. You're just hacking at it. <laughs> oh. Should I try the first bit? Oh, this water. <laughs> wow. Fresh. Look at that. That is the freshest coconut you can eat. It's nice. Okay, let's try this freshest coconut probably I've ever had. Must be. That's so good. Is it? Mm, it's so. I was going to say it's so fresh, obviously. <laughs> Only a few bits because I chopped it horribly. <laughs> you really, really mashed that up. Mm. <laughs> it's quite tough, isn't it? It is. It's, it's, really, it's really stuck down there. It's amazing how they package it together in a supermarket. In your Tesco's like meal deal, you don't really see this. No. It's a bit tough. A bit tough. It's good flavour though. Nice flavour. What? What? Coconut flavour? <laughs> yeah. That's a surprise. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the video, but I have some exciting news for you. Me and Amelia are going to be live streaming on a few different dates starting from the 16th of May in Singapore, where we're going to be exploring the futuristic city and it's going to be awesome. Then we're going to probably do another tour, live tour in Singapore and then go to Bali and Indonesia and do loads more tours and they're completely live stream. And this is your chance to watch us live. If you want to watch our live stream, go download the Hago app 
and basically we're going to be doing all these live stream tours on there you can download it for free and the tour is free so you just go go and join it and you get a notification when we're going to do the live stream so we are excited to see you there so yeah <laughs> So one of the things they actually have here on the Isla experience is pigs. And um, yeah, they have a couple of pet pigs. So I think we're going to go see them now. Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, so we have just found one of the pigs. They unfortunately don't fancy going to the beach today, which is understandable. But one of them is just chilling here in the mud, as pigs do. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. Hello. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so there is another pig here. I think BT is her name. And she's actually blind, so she can't see. So we're going to be a bit careful that we don't scare her. <laughs> but look at her. So pretty. Such so a pretty sweet. little pig. Aww. Just let her smell me. Hey. She, she likes the smells. Yeah. Beatty. <laughs> Beatty is also your last name, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We've got the same name. <laughs> Earlier I cut that coconut, but that coconut was an oil coconut. They'd use it for like coconut oil. But this one is for like eating and stuff. So it's much easier to eat it. So I'm just going to give it a try and see like the difference because the other one was quite tough. Whereas I think this one, oh, look at that. Easy. Beautiful. Mmm, <gasps> this is this is oh. oh well. That's what I want. That is so good. So we've just finished watching the sunset and now we are going to head to dinner and see what tonight's entertainment is because last night there was a bit of karaoke going on which was pretty cool. The sunset was so good as well. I was flying my drone around getting some really cool shots um, and yeah the place where we're staying it was, looked so cool on the drone as you would have seen but yeah I'm so hungry so let's go get some dinner. Ooh. The exciting thing about this place is when it goes dark we actually saw fireflies last night so hopefully we're going to see those again. Yeah, hope, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get them on camera, but hopefully I will and I'll show you guys, obviously, because it's so cool. Good morning. I mean, what a beautiful place to wake up to. If you're looking for like a genuine island experience, then I definitely recommend coming to Isla, the island experience. It is so cool. Like, it is like a real island experience. There's not all the luxuries. You, can, you don't obviously have AC, you don't have fans, but what you do have is just a real kind of, you know, island experience where, you know, you sleep in like these cool, amazingly designed beach huts and you can hear the waves, you can hear the insects. It's so nice just to be cut off from everything and just, you know, sleep 10 meters away from the beach, go swimming all day, just, you know, really chill out. I feel like I've really relaxed from the last couple of days. I've not even been on my laptop, which is like crazy. I'm always on my laptop, but yeah, it's really, really cool. So the time you've been waiting for, a little tour around our beautiful beach hut. This one's called Mini Lock and basically it's, the, each one is like named after a different place in the Philippines. So we've got like Koh Ron over there, Boracay over there, we've got Cebu over there. So yeah, come with us. This is our beautiful beach hut. They're, ne they're so, so cool. I think they're made, 
someone maybe correct me, but they're made out of like old palm trees and they're so cool. They don't destroy the habitat at all. They blend in so well compared to like just putting a massive concrete structure. So yeah, it's really cool. And our one even has got like a palm tree like built through it, which is quite cool. Anyway, come up these beautiful bamboo stairs. Firstly, you come up and then boom, you're in this incredible, beautiful beach hut. And it's so spacious. The ceilings are so high, like you're getting like one of those you know, rich houses with high ceilings. But it's so cool, it's, it is so cool. Obviously made out of bamboo. We've got some storage here with some storage, my laptop and stuff. And obviously we've got the bed, which is so nice. There's, there is also a mosquito net, but we just took it off because we were like, oh, it feels so nice to be free. But if you are worried about mosquitoes, don't worry, there's a mosquito net. And um, yeah, obviously you can just roll out of bed and just look at this incredible view. The best thing about this place is just looking up at the, like, I'm like this and I'm just looking at the view and I'm just like, what is going on? That's why we, we sleep with the curtains open. It's the best way. And obviously we've got this incredible view. And yeah, the other day we had some drinks out here on the balcony, just looking out the view, having some more drinks and it's so nice. And then we can just jump into bed like 10 seconds later. Um, yeah, what a beautiful spot. It's so, the good thing about this is that well, they all have sea views as well, which is so lovely. Oh, it looks so good. I want to get in the sea again now. <laughs> Should we go? Yep. <laughs> okay. And so here we've got the toilet block and shower block. So there's three showers behind and two toilets in here and they're proper, um, like a proper toilet, even though we're on this deserted uh, tropical island so yeah you still got those luxuries even though we're in the middle of nowhere and if you are interested this is about an hour away from El Nido town and then like a literally like a 20 minute boat ride away as well so pretty cool so the food here is always buffet style so if, like for dinner last night it's mostly Filipino food like rice is adobe I think it's called adobo adobo sorry uh. <laughs> um, and like different meat dishes and vegetables and they also have like carbonara options as well and we have always like fruit afterwards so then after dinner we had some like entertainment in the evening and um, we had this karaoke singer which was really good fun and like some nice music and then we also had like a fire and a fire dancer who was like you know i would you would have seen from last night all the fire dancing and stuff it was really cool and yeah it was a really nice like nice evening just to speak talk to others as well and like meet new people so yeah it was really cool so unfortunately our island experience has come to an end now which is such a shame because we've had such a nice chilled out time and i don't know about you but i'm feeling pretty relaxed now i know i haven't been on my laptop in like two days and it feels so good because i've just chilled out and it's such a nice break you know from you know busier parts and touristy parts just to come here and chill and live the island life but anyway guys thank you so much for watching please hit the subscribe button and like this video because it really does help us to keep traveling and you know doing all these cool videos so thank you very much we will see you in, in the next video oh yeah so see you then bye